Welcome back to learn a new wood turning technique in 5 minutes with masterpiece. It's going to take actually 15 minutes because all of my videos are 15 minutes long so 5 minutes it, that sounds really cool so in 5 minutes. Masterpiece. All right so today I am going to continue with this mini series in my last video i learned a new wood carving technique and in this video i am going to learn a new wood turning technique again i am going to learn this technique from a book and this technique is called the impossible <laughs> this is the first time i am actually attempt to make this ball and hopefully at the end we will get something decent out of this experiment okay so let's go downstairs and let's get to it oh by the way this guy is called Attila right there I have a really nice piece of spalted beach look at these grains but it might not be wide enough for hollowing it out so I am going to use a little bit of sycamore literally not much but it makes it just a tiny bit wider and we just glue the two together let's do that you gross go don't think it is dried just yet but uh, I'm going to turn it from this side so this one doesn't have to be completely set but the problem is I don't think I can use a face plate it has to be a wormhole screw because I am going to make this cross structural section or shape here so I cannot just drill holes everywhere. So my tool rest doesn't fit underneath so at some point I have to remove the piece, move the tool rest, put back the piece and uh, shape it from the other side. So as I said many times before I only have a year experience under my belt so I won't be able to teach you the techniques and how to wood turn but we can try something that I think I am good at it and maybe I can make this channel a little bit more interactive so the task is I am going to show you the shape in a minute what I have done I am trying to do this S shaped curve and I already done an okay ball and I want you to think about how you could transform this boring ball into something a little bit more exciting and more pleasing to the eye but you still have to keep the S shaped curve so you can fine tune it but you can't change the shape So you can see I didn't do much to it so literally the difference between the two shapes is just like five minutes of work and yet the curve is much more elegant now it flows much much better than before and it's definitely more exciting than it was before do you agree you disagree 
tell me in the comment section but that's usually how my brain works I always leave one part flat because that's where my logo goes. Okay, so now the exciting part. We can turn it around and we can start to hollow it out. This is going to be a challenge. I never done anything like this. This is shallow. Okay, so before I do any proper marking on it, we have to lower inside a little bit. The rim will be raised a tiny bit. The impossible parts will be a little bit lower so it looks much nicer that way. So my wife is out chopping and hopefully she will be able to get some kind of small glass jar and I will be able to include that thing into the design. But now we can start uh, hollowing it out. First I am going to use this one and then later I am going to use this one and after that I am probably going to combine the two and make it even longer. That will look ridiculous. Okay, let's try it. This is probably going to be the most difficult hollowing I have ever done. I'm not even sure it is possible. It might not be possible. I might have to make this whole thing a little bit smaller. Okay, so let's get to it. Not much else I can do. One thing though, the original piece was a little bit smaller because the person who designed it was actually smart. And I made it much wider because I am not so smart and now it will make my life really difficult. Yeah, yeah. So, so there is one thing is going for me, the wood is fairly soft, so it depends how far I can reach in with this one. I put on one more attachment and hopefully we don't have to mess with the shape. That's the plan, let's continue. Yeah, I think I have like five centimeters to go. 
that's worrying okay let's uh, let's continue and we will see how far I can go <laughs> I did one more attachment look how ridiculous this thing looks look it's larger than my palm and uh, it actually works this thing works so press that like button I think I deserve that I deserve that like button if I can pull this one off that's a very well deserved like let me talk to you honestly because I know what some of you are going to say in the comment section so basically this thing took me pretty much five hours to hollow it out and some of you will say it doesn't worth it and some of you will say you would have cheated it but you have to understand one thing first of all if it's not difficult it doesn't even worth it in my mind and the second thing very important thing that you have to understand if I can do this I can do most of it probably all of it so keep this one in your mind is it really difficult I could cheat does it work I don't care if I can do this I can do all of it are you still there okay draw a design on it that's the design it's fairly simple I know but uh, this project is complicated enough without me trying to draw something really crazy on it so it's basically that's where I can insert the little gloss jar and these are just holding them in place this is the impossible part of the project so let's get carving So if you want to get into this area you need something thin and this is probably your bad bet. Bad bet! Here we go. Here is the. <laughs> here is the small glass jar. Fits in here nicely. So I can put some sauce in it and crisps or tortilla chips. And yeah, you know the rest. Yeah. I also have food safe finish I am going to use this one to finish it and I show you the final shot mustard piece